see if I can. Hello everyone. Welcome to Chaplet Mondays. Coming to you from my front room and so my living room. The lighting is going to be a little different, a little weird, but that's okay. Hello, Elsa. <clears throat> Hello, Miss Elena. Welcome back to Chaplet Mondays, where tonight we will be praying the Chaplet of St. Isidore, patron saint of farmers, um, one of Holy Rosary's patron saints, one of St. Wenceslaus's pa patron saints as well. Um, for those of you that have gone to Mass at St. Wenceslaus, we have an incredibly beautiful stained glass window of St. Isidore. I just thought that was really cool. And if I was able to go live online with Instagram, I would show you that picture. So I'm gonna post it later. Um, welcome to my home again. Thank you for joining me to pray tonight, the Chaplet of St. Isidore. As usual, the prayer sheet can be found at hrccr.com slash chaplets. Oh, thank you. Miss Elena's wishing me a happy anniversary. I have just hit one year of being the youth minister at Holy Rosary Catholic Church in Rosenberg, Texas. It is a beautiful parish with even more beautiful people. And um, I feel extremely blessed and honored to be there. You all are have quickly become my family. I'm going to get all teary-eyed. <laughs> Uh, don't make me cry, Miss Elena. Um, hello, Miss Doris. So tonight, I wanted to try um, All right, Miss Kathy wants to join us and she is, let me see if I can message her. Um, she is she joins us. Um, she was used to manage the Christian Renewal Center Retreat Center in Dickinson, Texas. And her and her husband also pray the rosary um, <clears throat> online. Give me just a second. We will get started. Um, if you don't already have it, the prayer sheet can be found at hrccr.com. Slash chaplets um, and Jonathan I'm live sweetie come and pray y'all I've got chairs ready I've got chairs ready for you today is Monday for chaplet Monday thank you boys um, and the, the prayer sheet looks like this there are three images superimposed behind the text Oh, I might not have posted that that most recent one. That I added a, an image, and I'm going to post that online as well. But this is an image of actually of Saint Isidore and his wife Maria. Um, and I promise I did a ton of research because I was really curious. Um, she's called Saint Maria de la Cabeza, Saint Maria of the Head, and um, but she is not actually an officially canonized saint within the whole church of, um, of um, let me see if I can tag her, within the whole Catholic church, but in Spain. She is, hi Johnny, in Spain she is, um, they call her a saint because they believe she was saintly, very virtuous woman. Um, and, and she actually has been beatified, so she is blessed, um, but she is not quite a saint yet, but um, I'm, I believe that'll happen. But then again, you always wonder, do they really care once they're in heaven whether or not they're recognized as a saint down here? I don't think so. I think they're happy just looking Jesus in the face and loving him. Uh, <clears throat> but I do have the life of Isidore and Maria on... Um, on our 
hold on just a second. I know, I'll, a way around this. Um, let me share this video and give it to, um, I'm so sorry, bear with me for just a second while I share this with a friend who is trying to find us. Um, and so, if you are ever wanting to share this with someone specific, there is a way to tag them in the comments. And I'm about to do that. with my friend Kathy. And do you know what's funny? This is funny. Tonight I could not get on Facebook Live on my laptop because the camera is not synced with it, but it has been for the last six weeks. And now I can't tag Kathy and I've never not been able to do that. So I do find that very interesting. But guess what? God is stronger than you know who. And I just tagged her. <laughs> so there we go. Take that, Satan. <laughs> So that's why we're here. We are praying for spiritual warfare, right? We are living in a time when it's easy to give up hope and it's easy to lose joy and it's easy to forget that our God is already victorious. Can you see my determination? Our God is already won, hasn't he? On the crucifix, he won. And so there was a man that lived in the 1100s and his name was Isidore. And that man loved God so much that every day before work, he would go to mass and that would make him late for work. He grew up very poor for his entire life. He worked on a farm that he did not own, owned by Master de Vargas. I'm sorry to say that so dramatically, but that man grew to respect and love Isidore so much. Why? because Isidore took time out of his day to go to mass every morning and it made him late for work and the other, farm, the other farm hands would get jealous and kind of angry and bitter. And yet Isidore would arrive at work and then he would do the work of three farmers. He would annihilate his job. And Master de Vargas was looking out one day and saw Isidore working the fields with angels to his left and right angels were working the farm with Isidore. And so God made it possible for Isidore to do all the work that he needed to do because he had his faith and trust in our Lord, because he would insist on worshiping our God and starting every morning, every day, worshiping our Father in heaven. And so God blessed him and allowed his angels to come down and assist him in his duties and therefore outperform every single person that also worked on the farm. Did he do it for pride? No, he did it out of love for the father, love for his father in heaven. Hi, Gary. Welcome, Kathy and Gary. I'm sorry about that. I was just letting everybody know that um, somebody didn't want me to be able to share that video, but I overcame, our father overcame. So now we're talking about Isidore the farmer. Isidore the farmer is very near and dear to the hearts of the people of Holy Rosary and St. Wenceslas. Much of that land, if not all of that land, used to be farmland, and a lot of it still is farmland. Welcome, Joyce. Thank you for joining us. And so Isidore is the patron saint of rural communities and farmers. And so he is the patron saint of a lot of our families, a lot of our Holy Rosary and St. Wenceslas families. And so we knew we needed to honor him in the form of a chaplet. Now, St. Isidore doesn't exactly, he doesn't have a chaplet. So we took Novena prayers again. You guys know I love to do this. I love to create chaplets out of already existing Novena prayers. And so we have created one with a Novena, a nine day Novena. And so we've, broken up the beads into nine parts 
And each of these is one of the days of the Novena, but also an, something to meditate on, on the life of St. Isidore and his wife, Maria. Um, if you want to read more about Isidore and Maria, it's on the prayer sheet. Something that I think is really awesome about um, Isidore and Maria is that they, um, they lost their child at a very young age. Um, and so they really had to trust in our Father. They really had to cling to our Father in heaven. Um, and so if you read a little bit about that, um, <clears throat> down on the third paragraph, they had only one son who died in youth. Both were the most charitable and ever willing to help neighbors in distress and the poor in the city slums. Because of their loss, they continued to serve the people around them. They continued to feed the poor. They continued to feed the farm hands from the farm where Isidore worked. And God always provided food. There's another beautiful story here within the life of St. Isidore and Maria. And it says, one day Isidore brought home more hungry people than usual, which means he did it a lot to poor Maria. <laughs> he said, honey, I brought a couple people for dinner again. And Maria cooked for them and God always provided. And it says, after she had served many of them, Maria told Isidore, there's simply no more stew in the pot. What can I do? There's no more food. Isidore insisted that she check the pot again and she was able to spoon out enough stew to feed everyone. Does that story sound familiar? God will provide food in the physical form and in the spiritual form, right? If we are hungry, he is going to feed us whether it's our tummy or our soul. So keep reading. You can keep reading about them. They are just beautiful, beautiful people. And I'm going to share the image of St. Isidore from within the walls of St. Wenceslas, our mission church. I'll do that after this. Um, and it's a beautiful stained glass window that we have of St. Isidore. So again, like I did on the last prayer sheet, um, our opening prayer is going to be the Novena. And... I left it in its form so that you could see how you would pray it if you wanted to just pray this Novena prayer for nine days with the Our Father, Hail Mary, and Glory be with your intentions. Oh, thank you for reminding me. That reminds me. Continue to put your intentions into the um, comments so that we can pray over them and about them and for them, for you. And this is what our chaplet looks like. And again, as always... The Rosary and Chaplet Brigade is happy to send these to you um, any, any time. Any chaplets, if you look back at our chaplet, um, if you look back at our chaplet page, you can review what we've done in the past. You can ask for any chaplets and we would love to send them. Just message either Kara or um, Leanne or myself and we would love to send these to you. It's a ministry dear to our hearts. You are dear to our hearts. I don't think you even understand how much we love you. And we love hearing from you. And we love praying for you and with you. So let's get started. If you do continue to put your um, intentions, I'll go through those throughout the, the chaplet. So we'll start on the medal of St. Isidore. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Isidore, you lived a humble life working the land. You attended a holy mass each morning, which jeopardized the employment that allowed your family to eat. The Lord repaid your love by sending his angels to plow the fields while you were at church. Dear St. Isidore, ask our Lord Jesus to place deep faith in our hearts and water it each day with your prayers, that we may progress in holiness as you did. Pray that as our heart grows in love and humility, we may be a living sign of Jesus to those around us. As a farmer, who, her, a farmer who used his hands to bring forth nourishing food, please ask Jesus to bless us with a bountiful harvest. Pray that our hands and bodies will remain strong, that we may farm the land God has given us. Ask Jesus to care for our gardens as he tends our hearts. Pray that weeds will be kept far from our fields 
and likewise give us an aversion to sin. Humbly we ask that you carry these petitions that we hold in our hearts to our most loving and generous Lord. Amen. At this time, I pray for everyone joining us in prayer. I pray for Leo, one of our teens. I pray for Elsa, Miss Elena, Bernadette, Leanne, Sharon, Miss Doris, Kara, Gary, and Kathy, Joyce, Tim, and your wife. I love her. We pray for healing for Kathy's brother, Paul, who's still in the hospital, and the doctors and staff who are taking care of him. We pray for Tim's wife, Sukai. Did I say that right? Who has decided to attend our CIA. And receive the sacraments and become Catholic. Ah, Tim. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm emotional. That's amazing. Congratulations, Sukai. We are so happy to have you. We've seen you at Mass. We love you already. We loved you even when you're not Catholic. And we love you and we welcome you into our family in our warm, loving arms. Um, so that made me emotionally. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I, I also would like to lift up. Um, this is a fifth grader from my um, former parish, St. Justin Martyr. And he is, um, he is fighting COVID right now. And I know for a long time, we believed children were kind of stronger than the elderly, but he's losing his battle. Um, he already had other issues like asthma that um, made it harder for his body to fight, but they've removed the respirator. And while he is still with us, um, we don't know for how much longer. So please pray for my former. Um, I have not, I did not have him as a student, but, um, but he's at St. Justin Martyr my former parish. And so if we have any other intentions, we will pray for um, everyone who's pregnant right now. We pray for all those who have given birth during this time. We pray for peace and comfort and the removal of the fear that must exist when, when you are pregnant or, or having a baby at this time. Oh, Pat's joined us. We pray for Pat as well. We pray for all of your family members. Bernadette, um, um, is it your daughter? I'm trying to remember. I'm sorry. Um, who's pregnant? Um, so we pray for everyone pregnant. Um, and I pray for all of you and all of your intentions, especially the very private ones that we're afraid to verbalize. So now we move to the first large bead. And the, the mystery of the first bead is partnership with God. Oh, granddaughter. Thank you, Bernadette. Your granddaughter. Yes, we pray for your granddaughter. The first mystery is partnership with God. And we think of all of these mysteries in the realm of farming and St. Isidore's life. So we meditate on partnership with God in um, working the land and the fruits of our labors. And we add prayers for all of our frontline workers. Grant, we beg of you, O merciful Lord, that through the intercession of blessed Isidore, farmer and confessor, we may forego the pride of worldly wisdom and that through his merits and exemplary life, we may with all humility ever perform works pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son who lives and is King and God with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. On the three beads. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
we add the intention of continued protection from COVID for our parishioners and for Father Oren and the Holy Rosary and St. Wenceslas staff, and especially the Holy Rosary um, Catholic school staff that's getting ready to open. We pray in thanksgiving for the sacraments. Amen. The second mystery of Isidore's life is his family life in Christ. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of praise and humbly pray that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and of Saint Joseph, of the Blessed Saint Isidore and his wife Maria, you may establish our families in peace and grace. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The third mystery of Isidore's life, the love of neighbor. O God, you make all things work together unto good for those who love you. Give to our hearts an abiding love for you, as was St. Isidore's, so that the, the desires that we conceive by your inspiration may ever remain unchanged in spite of every temptation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The fourth mystery of Isidore's life is his dignity of work. O Lord, let us follow the blessed farmer Isidore's example of patience and humility, and walk so faithfully in his footsteps that by his intercession in the evening of life, we can offer you a rich harvest of merits and good works. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The fifth mystery of Isidore's life, walking in the presence of God. Breathe into our hearts, we beg you, O Lord, a desire for heavenly glory, and grant that we may come bearing in our hands the sheaves of justice to where the blessed Isidore is resplendent with you in glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The sixth mystery of Isidore's life is stewardship of the soil. Pour down your blessing, we beg you, O Lord upon your people and upon all the fruits of the earth, so that when collected, they may be mercifully distributed 
distributed to the honor and glory of your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The seventh mystery of St. Isidore, Rural Works of Mercy. May the grace of the Holy Spirit, we beg you, O Lord, enlighten our hearts and refresh them abundantly with the sweetness of perfect charity. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end, amen. The Eighth Mystery of St. Isidore's Life, Trust in Prayer. O Lord Jesus Christ, you have said, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Grant, we beg of you, to us your supplicants, the gift of your most divine love, so that we may love you with our whole heart and in all our words and works, and never cease praising you, who live and are king of the world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Ninth Mystery of St. Isidore's Life Sacrifice of Praise Protect us, O Lord, who offer holocausts to you, and sear our hearts with the flame of your divine charity, so that they may be ever more fervently prepared for sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our closing prayer on the medal of St. Isidore. O oh God, who taught Adam the simple art of tilling the soil, and who through Jesus Christ, the true vine, revealed yourself the husbandman of our souls. Deign, we pray, through the merits of blessed Isidore to instill into our hearts a horror of sin and a love of prayer, so that working the soil in the sweat of our brow we may enjoy eternal happiness in heaven through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will share that picture of St. Isidore, that picture.
picture of the stained glass window at St. Wenceslas in Beasley, Texas. It's beautiful. They have a ton of beautiful stained glass in that church. And sometimes I forget, um, but they, it is a beautiful, beautiful church. We just live streamed Sunday Mass there this past this past weekend. Hello, Miss Virginia. Thank you for joining us, Miss Leanne's mama. Um, and thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you, Bernadette, for joining us. Uh, next week will be St. Lawrence. And um, St. Lawrence has an amazing story, if you don't already know St. Lawrence. Um, I'll give you a hint. Many of his images or pictures are include a gridiron or flames. You'll learn more about that next week. Or you can look ahead. That's not cheating. There's no cheating in Chaplet Mondays. Yay! Go dive into the saints. They want to get to know you. And then start asking, who's following you around? Which saints have chosen you? Which saints are going to become your patron saint? Which saints are going to become your best friends? They are so incredible. And we should be screaming out to them for help all the time to pray for us. They've already run the race and they've already won and they've made it to our savior in heaven. So it makes sense that we'd ask them for advice here and there. God bless you all. Have a wonderful, blessed evening. I will continue to pray for you every day. And we will see you again tomorrow for the Chaplet of Divine Mercy at 3 p.m. And then daily masses, weekly daily masses start tomorrow, tomorrow evening. God bless you all. Have a wonderful night.